everybody welcome back to screen stars i'm here today to bring you my misunderstood movie review for the 2000 film the sixth day the film was directed by roger spottiswood and it stars arnold schwarzenegger michael rapaport tony goldwyn michael rucker and terry cruz now my misunderstood movie reviews i like to focus on films that have uh, been overlooked for some reason they've either failed at the box office but were well received critically or were well received by audiences but didn't do well at the box office or basically are just kind of hidden gems that people just overlooked um, and generally I think these are films that people should give another go and have a second chance at watching um, now The Sixth Day essentially is an Arnie film uh, uh, the, the 2000s, I think, the decade of 2000s was the decade where he obviously went into politics. So his his film releases were fairly sparse, uh, but he was reasonably busy at the early uh, the early part of the decade. And I think this was his first release of the year 2000s. And I remember going to the cinema to see this at the time. Um, and I remember enjoying it, but I also remember critics being very, very lukewarm to it. And it didn't do particularly well at the box office, I think it's fair to say. I think it made just under a hundred million worldwide on a budget of something around 80 million. Uh, which, obviously, when you do the maths, essentially, this film probably didn't make any profit. It, there's a high chance it even lost a little bit of money, to be fair. Uh, but I think actually. Upon re-watching this film, and I haven't watched this film for quite a while, um, I found it really highly entertaining, and it's one of those films you can look back on um, and think, yeah, this this is an entertaining science fiction action film. I think possibly one of the reasons why it didn't do particularly well at the time is because it took a subject matter that was very, very in the media, in the spotlight at the time, cloning. Um, and it basically turned it into like a, a dumb action film which probably you know the intellectual critics out there didn't quite appreciate they turned it into an Arnold Schwarzenegger film um, but when you take that out of it really what you do get here is quite a fun film and for those of you who have never seen The Sixth Day essentially this film focuses on Arnold Schwarzenegger's character Adam Gibson who's a family man um, he swaps places uh, well his partner swaps places with him played by Michael Rappaport they've got this business uh, where they do like pleasure flights in futuristic helicopters and it's obviously set in the near future um, Adam Gibson wants to go and do something with his family it's his um, it's his birthday and things like that so Michael Rappaport says oh you go you go enjoy your birthday I'll pretend to be you because this big businessman played by Tony Goldwyn Michael Drucker who's in charge of like uh, this cloning company that clones pets and things like that is going on on this pleasure cruise however uh, he gets embroiled in like um, a cloning saga shall we say Schwarzenegger he goes home after a long day and discovers that there's a clone of him in his house on his birthday with his family um, and then this sets off a chain of events where um, Tony Goldwyn's company sends uh, a group of hitmen essentially after Arnold Schwarzenegger's character because they can't afford to have two of him out in the world because then the world will realise that cloning exists and cloning was banned some years previously certainly banned on humans the only thing you're allowed to clone is pets essentially and that's big business um, so yeah after that, for, from that point on it then becomes like a fight for survival of Schwarzenegger's character um, and trying to figure out how he can um, manoeuvre himself back into his family's life and avoid getting killed in the process. So that's the storyline here with the film. Now, like I said, this was really an entertaining watch. I think there are aspects of the film that have aged poorly. Some of the effects, certainly the effects for like these, these like these helicopters, futuristic helicopters that are like across between jets and helicopters that. Um, I don't think those effects have aged particularly well, but everything else, you know, it, it feels believable, you know what I mean, in regards to the futuristic setting um, that they put them in um, and some of the ideas they have for these subtle changes in our societal lives in the future. Um, the, the weapons on display and things like that felt realistic and the noises they made were all pretty good. Um, and there were some 
moments of comedy in the film as well. Of course, Arnie gets the odd one-liner here and there. Now, yes, obviously the way they treat the subject matter of cloning is pretty... It's pretty ham-fisted, really, and, you know, yeah. But it, at the end of the day, it's supposed to be a fun action film. An Arnold Schwarzenegger film, you're not really supposed to, you know, take the subject matter too seriously, other than it's it's just firing out a warning, I suppose, um, as to a potential future that we could all be facing. But you're not meant to, you know, dwell on it too long. I think the, the character that Schwarzenegger plays, I think it's... It's difficult at times, certainly early on, to kind of understand or get behind how he can do some of the things he does. You know, the fact that he's being chased by these highly trained killers and he keeps getting the best of them. Uh, and early on, there's not really any indication of, you know, his skills and things like that other than he's a pilot. And then you kind of learn later on in the film that, you know, he's ex-military and things like that. I think they could have. If they'd have let us know that early on, then we could have. You, you could probably could have relaxed a bit more and enjoyed the things. He, some of the things he were doing, um, and it was it was funny as well to see these these people that are chasing him, um, getting taken out and then constantly cloned again. Do you know what I mean? And the um, the pain in the ass that it is to to reclone them and things like that. They've got to dye the hair and pierce their ears, and one of them who's I've no idea why they keep actually cloning him because he's absolutely useless. There's a guy called Wiley, played by uh, Rodney Rowland, who's one of these assassins. He's beyond useless. He keeps getting killed or killing others, and I have no idea why they even hide him in the first place. He's a clown. He was a clown. He was ridiculous. And he gets run over by a car, and then when he comes back, he's t he, ch he keeps thinking his chest is sore, and gets his neck broken he comes back and he's like his neck saw you know what i mean all he does is moan basically all the time um so and it's an early screen performance here by terry cruz as well uh which is nice to see so yeah, there are things in this film that really really worked i thought the inclusion as well of robert duval uh add, add a little bit of gravitas to the film he plays this um doctor uh, Dr. Weir, who's prominent in regards to cloning and cloning technology and things like that. And this nice little side storyline of him and his wife that I thought actually was handled quite uh, carefully and subtly. Uh, and I enjoyed his character as well. Um, so I enjoyed his part in the film. Tony Goldwyn, of course, plays a good buddy. He always plays a good buddy. I thought the chemistry between Schwarzenegger and Michael Rappaport worked really, really well. This was a time in Michael Rappaport's career when, you know, he was really getting noticed and doing a few good things. Um, and I really liked him at this stage in his career. Very witty. Um, and he was good with Arnie in this film. They had some good chemistry. I don't think... I think it was probably a bad idea um, not having him as much in the film I think they should have had him more in the film I would have liked to have seen them team up a little bit more in this film so whereas there are problems with this film and it could have been better in some areas um, if you like Arnie and have never seen The Sixth Day uh, you know you could do far worse than checking this one out it's a fun science fiction action film definitely not one of his worst but certainly not one of his best either. I'm going to give this one a solid 8 out of 10 for entertainment purposes. Check it out if you haven't already. And thank you very much for watching, guys. If you've got any suggestions for classic film reviews or misunderstood movie reviews, movies that you think uh, deserve a, um, a second chance by people, let me know in the comments. And I, if I agree with you, I will obviously try and do one as well. So thanks for watching, everybody. Of course, I will be back with plenty more content on the channel very very soon